Adum kasiye nyano ntiye wa sante mante muse biya ya wade wa muwenya COVID-19 ni biye beto wako mfano chia ya sabi ya newaye ma. Enu ntiye ano peya ampeni fosi hunku nya hese. E diye na wubetu miya yefise ya deno. E sante ye ena enkoye. So adichi ya dese nina omafo e nyebi nti. En sancho fwo nshe mwa wa ye yeno. Di ampeni fwo tuwa tuwa jwenye wade tu jwano ebiniye. The treatment centers are now full. Uh, Kofanoche uh, have 18 beds. The 18 beds are now full. Kumasi have, have uh, 20 beds. So as at now, we have a total of 38 beds. All the 38 beds are now full. So what we've decided to do is that we need to expand the number of uh, the beds that we have for the treatment centers. So we've decided that we are going to expand Kumasi South from existing 20 beds to 41 beds. As at now, we've been given another word. Work is rapidly ongoing to make sure that we expand it. We've also secured seven beds at Central Hospital to support our treatment facilities. And we are also uh, negotiating with uh, one of our senior doctors who has decided to give us his hospital to be used as a treatment center. When that one is finally done, we hope that we can add about 100 beds to the treatment centers that we have to make sure that it will be up to about 180, 38 beds. Because the numbers that we have here and the number of cases that we are getting, is said that uh, we cannot contain it. The challenge we have here is the way cases are referred to our major treatment center, Kofanochi. Uh, most of the cases are being kept in various hospitals. And when the situation gets worse, then they say, go to Kofanochi. And by the time you get to Kofanochi, less than uh, 24 hours, then you are gone. I don't think that is good enough. We need to build the capacity of our peripheral facilities also to support the process. Uh, we have to build the capacity of the nurses there to identify the cases. The challenge we have with COVID uh, deaths that we've analyzed here is that most of the deaths do not come with the classical signs and symptoms that we know. The cough, difficulty in breathing and other things sometimes are absent. All that we get is a malaria-like uh, symptoms. So people assume that it's malaria. By the time we get to know that it's COVID, then uh, a lot of health workers have been exposed. And because of that, uh, most of them are now doing self-isolation. So there was a need also at the national level to review uh, the signs and symptoms and then share it with uh, the private facilities so that uh, we do not focus only on certain signs and symptoms like cough, difficulty in breathing, and then uh, it's COVID. Because in, in Ashanti region, we are seeing quite a different picture. It's fever and general malaise. By the time you have difficulty in breathing, then you're almost gone. So uh, it's another work that I think we will need to do here. The number of isolation centers will also have to be increased because we are having an increasing number of cases.